Hello and welcome back to an episode of Generation Films. My name is American Ben. It seems I made a lot of people angry in my last video by listing the Serenity as the ugliest ship in science fiction. Now you have to understand, this wasn't an attack on the awesomeness of the ship or the show. Honestly, I love both. I was only commenting on the Serenity's appearance. That said, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said that it looks like a giant sat on the USCSS Prometheus. And from certain angles, yes, the Firefly class can actually seem to be a beautiful ship. And when I say certain angles, I mean from five light years away, behind a giant sun, behind a black hole. Oof, yeah. Honestly, still hideous. Sorry, folks. But listen, this is silly, right? Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. And honestly, sometimes I'll look at a person and think they're not good looking at all. And then five minutes later, for whatever reason, I'll be picturing myself bending them over a table and making hot, passionate love with them. And yes, I'm talking about myself. Sexiness is a matter of opinion. And honestly, I think everyone is beautiful. Aww. But it's true, so let's just have some fun with this video and feel free to yell at me in the comments later. I think it's hilarious. I'll continue to smile at the camera as the pain inside slowly eats away at me. Anyway, yes, last time we burned your retinas with sci-fi's ugliest chips. I mean the Serenity, for God's sakes, get that thing out of my face. It looks like a deflated vulture with rabies. Sorry again. So this time we're gonna spend some time ogling eye candy for you ship sexuals out there. We're looking for them thick boy hulls and shiny finishes. These are the 10 sexiest ships in science fiction. In 10th place is the Milano from Guardians of the Galaxy. The two Guardians of the Galaxy movies are aesthetic delights, and the M-Class spaceship Peter Quill uses to troll all over the universe is no exception. Its avian appearance makes it seem as a giant prehistoric bird from afar as it soars through atmospheres and falls through vacuum with the grace of a winged deity. It's the Celine Dion of ships. The Milano's raised cockpit, feathery metallic wings, and orange-blue finish scream of speed and aerodynamics, which is fitting of a ship that has to confront the wondrous dangers of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, such as maniacal godlike villains and bland, repetitive storylines. Listen, I'm not saying I'm attracted to birds, but... Ooh. In ninth place is the CAS Assault Carrier from Halo. Most of the time, alien ships are uglier than human ones, as alien tastes don't usually jibe with human perceptions of beauty, and vice versa. And yeah, on the heels of all the good things I said about xenomorphs the other day, I'm kind of hesitant to wax romantic about aliens again so soon. That said, the CAS Assault Carrier is the gold standard of Xeno ship design, with its nanolaminate chrome-plated hull shaped into a sleek, sperm-like form. Despite its comely appearance, the ship is no friend of mankind, and it's often deployed during invasions of human worlds, impregnating its enemies with awe before raining down explosions of plasma on them. At 17,540 feet long, the CAS Assault Carrier proves that big can be beautiful. In eighth place, we have the Andromeda Ascendant from Andromeda, aka Hercules in space. The Ascendant, a glorious heritage-class warship, was the pride of the High Guard fleet. Sexy on the outside and Kevin Sorbo on the inside, its beauty was absolute. It's no wonder that these vessels were often used for first contact missions, as they would make for impressive sights upon entering alien worlds. The Ascendant's hull was uniquely shaped with wing-like structures wrapping around a central shaft, which together made for an eye-catching but elegant package. Even among other Heritage-class ships, the Ascendant was especially attractive, with the red trim on both its brow and feather-like battle blades. In seventh place, we have the Naboo Royal Starship, a modified J-Type 327 Nubian starship. This ship doesn't fit my personal tastes, but I can't deny its sexiness. The Royal 327 is just nuts. It's a cross between a Rolls Royce and a Batmobile with a slight steampunk attitude. Star Wars has a lot of unique ship designs, from the triangular Star Destroyers to flying Pac-Man. But when it comes to sexiness, Padme Amidala's Royal Starship reigns above most. Nabooian technology was famous for its blend of art and function. Their ships were made not just to work, but to look good. The Naboo Royal Starship's space frame was handcrafted by skilled artisans and finished in a royal chromium, resulting in a vessel within which its crew members were afraid to touch anything for fear of breaking priceless artifacts. In sixth place is the SSV Normandy SR-1 from Mass Effect. Its successor, the SR-2, gets a bit too rounded for my liking, but the SR-1 is the perfect mix of sleek and unique. 
The stealth ship was a Systems Alliance prototype scout frigate designed for undertaking reconnaissance missions deep within unstable regions of space. And I'm pretty sure its ship sexual pilot Jeff Joker Moreau dreams of the Normandy venturing deep within his unstable regions. Its sharp red, white, and silver hull with black trim on the wings shapes into a sharp fish-like design, a common theme for the Mass Effect universe in which hideous squid-like reapers plague the vacuum. This ship is definitely a pleasant sight, but before flying on it, I'd probably have it cleaned out. We don't know what Joker did in there. In fifth place, we have the Guan Xi'an from The Expanse. Most people probably would prefer the MCRN Doniger or the Rosinante to be The Expanse's representative on this list. But the fact of the matter is, Jules Pierre Mao's space yacht, the Guan Xi'an, is the sexiest ship in The Expanse. It's a luxury love rocket. In much the same way as the Naboo Royal Starship, the Guan Xi'an is the epitome of opulence, from top to bottom and inside to outside. This ship blurs the line between space vessel and five-star vacuum-rated hotel, with its hull, like the Normandy, giving off a fish-like appearance, but less mackerel and more fugu this time. This ship's hull is truly extravagant, with cascading blue-lit gills and a chrome-plated elongated jaw on its fore. But to be honest, I'm more of an aft man. In fourth place, we have the Naboo Starfighter, also known as the N1 Starfighter. I know we already included a Nabooian ship in this video, but if we're really going for the sexiest of the sexiest, then it makes sense that Naboo has multiple entries on this list. We've talked about the equal importance of function and art in Nabooian engineering, and this remains true for the N1, which was used by the Royal Naboo Security Forces for policing duties. With hot rod yellowing chromium finishes, these penal vessels, though certainly well-armed, spent much of their time escorting the Royal Starship in parades and flybys. Hey, the Nabooians might get blown out of the sky in battle with Imperial forces, but they're gonna look good doing it. In third place, we have the Spear of a Dune from StarCraft. We're long overdue for getting this ship more involved on our channel, because it's one of the most overlooked and underrated when it comes to the most epic vessels in sci-fi. The Spear was the flagship of the Protoss Unity government and was designed to be a self-sustaining habitat for the preservation of Protoss society across many generations. From afar, the ship appears as a mystical golden spearhead shooting through the void, but up close, the fully erect 74.4 kilometer long spear reveals itself to be a gargantuan arc ship that dwarfs all of its peers in terms of scope and beauty. Oh, and sorry, and miles that comes to... In second place, we have the Sulaco from Aliens. It's hard to find sci-fi fans who don't like the look of this famous ship. It was basically a flying gun. I almost included Halo's Charon class light frigate on this list for a similar reason. But when it comes to floating firearms, the Sulaco is king. Never has a ship looked more ready for violence while being used mainly as a troop transport for the Colonial Marine Corps. The sensor array antennas protruding out of its bow are phallic symbols within a larger phallic symbol, necessitating the coining of the term metaphallus to describe the ship. With its dark, colorless hull, aggressive form, and sharp edges, the Sulaco isn't cute like the other ships on this list. It's not the type of ship you marry and settle down with. It's the type you sleep with for years at a time in stasis. Finally, in first place, we have the USS Enterprise, a Federation Constitution-class starship. I thought long and hard about this, but there's just nothing quite as sexy as the various iterations of the Enterprise. They look sleek, elegant, and aerodynamic. And of course, the structure of the ship is iconic. Enterprises almost always feature a saucer section connected to a drive section, which itself is made up of an engineering module and massive warp nacelles. Now, don't get me wrong, I love the D, but it's the Enterprise E that usually gets the most nods as the best looking among all Enterprises with its stylized swept back nacelle pylons. Yeah, look at that fine aft. Let's be honest, there's not a nerd on Earth who wouldn't love to boldly go where no man has gone before with the Enterprise. I'm sure some have. I see you die-cast model collectors. Anyways, that's the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please do give it a big thumbs up. Let me know down in the comments below what I got wrong, what I got right, and what ships need to be added to this list. Um, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell, please. For now, my name is American Ben, and I'll catch you next time. Generation Films, peace.